when you first got to prison though like what was that like especially at that time like being a blood and everything was did that even matter at the time or was it already like hell bro- yeah. broken down by uh, race primarily hell yeah it mattered adam because like i said at that time in that era in order to be a blood you had to come correct and you had to be really real and you had to be a solid individual and you had to be separate or it wasn't gonna work. And that's that's coming from whether you're from the west side, the east side, Brims, Pyru, Swans, Demolanes. We had homies coming from all those sectors that were solid, real warriors. And that was the only way they was able to sustain that level of being real bloods. Other than that, they would've got ate up. Some bloods got ate up mm. instantly, immediately. They was getting ate up by these Crips, man. It, they just That solidness just wasn't there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go to prison, there's just way more Crips than Bloods. Oh, man, everywhere you went, it was always 20 to 1. The right. eyes. So we, we we up against them, and then we got the Spanish cliques. You know, mm-hmm. you got the Mexican mob, and, you know, you got the you got these other prison organizations that's going on. So it's like the eyes was always against us. Mm-hmm. But one thing about the system is it's different. Everything has changed. It's, it changes now. As far as the racial the racial barriers, it's not about the actual gangs now. When once you cross that line in prisons, it's not about okay, oh they go, they go Ike battle from Great Street. Oh, I'm finna get that fool. No, nah, I can't just do that now because it's the politics, because mm. the yard politics. It's you know, we black now, we pro black, just like them over there. They all together, and they together. So it's politics. So it's like if it's a personal problem and I really really want to deal with it, then you got to go through protocol to whoever's the shot call over here, whoever regulating, and tell them, look, man, look, I really need to get down with this dude, man. I, I need this in order for me to be satisfied on this yard with him, man. Just let us go on in the cell and lock up and do our thing and get it over with. All right, boom, boom. You go in there, y'all do y'all thing. Now it's done. Mm. So that seizes the knife play. When normally, I'm finna bust this fool. Right, because you got jumped by a bunch of Crips at one point, right? Oh, yeah, shit, man. I, hey, you know, they, they blanket part of my ass twice, Adam. I, I, I got I got rat pack on two. I got rat pack two times and blanket party rat pack two times. What's the difference? Describe both. Oh, shit. <laughs> what's a rat pack? Shit, man, listen here, boy. Yeah, what's a blanket party, dude? Okay, well, which one you want first, the rat pack <laughs> or the blanket party? I guess we should start with the rat pack, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so check it. They throw me in um, Denver Road, 32, 3200. This is 1980. Uh-huh. This is 7980. Remember I told you I called the case in YA. I'm going to YA. So I'm already 17. They throw me in the county jail. I get kicked out of El Juvenile Hall for fighting. I'm over there fucking up cats in Juvenile Hall, fucking over them. Lost Padrinas, Central, Sealmore. Oh, man, sent his ass to the county jail over there with the young wild gangbangers over there in, in um, junior high power. Right. So they sent me to the county jail. Get to the county jail, they sent my ass to Denver Road, 3100. All Crips. Mm. Nothing but Crips. ain't a blood in sight on this damn macho. Mm. Crips. And I mean real Crips. Hoovers. There wasn't no separation then. Right. Hoovers. A-Tray Gangsters. Gray Streets. P.J. Watts, my rivals, both sides, neighborhoods, uh, uh, Long Beaches, all Crips. Mm. Some of them I just come out of Y.A. and June I Hall with, so I knew him. The shot caller, which was Pee Wee from East Coast, was there, cell one. I knew him. So when I hit the cell, they sent me down in the middle of the tier. It's like cell 13. I go in the cell. It's an older cat from Compton, light-skinned, top bunk, another brother, Brother over here. The brother over here, he's supposed to have been from Campanella Park. Blood. Pyru, right? So he's talking about he don't bang no more. Why the fuck you don't bang? You 24, bro. <laughs> what the fuck you mean you don't bang no more? I'm a young. I'm, I'm, what you mean, homie? <laughs> right. So anyway, so, you got, can I get some peace? You got a medal or something? So I get something from me so I can start carving me something that night, right? So the first night I come in, I don't like, put me in. You can hear the Crips. Hey, cook, who is that just come in? I don't know. Uh... I know that two couple people came in and said such, 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 such. Hey, homie, who is that on Denver Road? I ain't saying nothing, right? Uh-huh. You can just hear the whole tear. Cuz, 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 cuz. God damn, when I'm going to hear blood, you feel me? <laughs> you just cuz everywhere. So all of a sudden, it's, hey, hey, homie. I said, who is that up in uh, 13, cuz? I said, man, ain't no cuz up here, homeboy. What? Where you from, my nigga? Bonnie Harness. 
Oh, we got us one. Oh, we got one. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I, I do just like that. So, bad. this is at night. I know they can't do nothing to get to me right now. The cell is locked up. We lock, we locked down. It's a wrap. Mm. Boy, that cell opened up early that morning. I shot out that bitch. Pew! Go up to the front so I can get my back against the wall where the bar is. Because that's the only little area I got is this little central area where me and you sitting at. It's that, that much of width and wide. So where, where you go outside the bars. So I stuck my arm right there and the bar stood there. Put my back against the wall. People started coming out their cells. Pee Wee come out cell one. He looked. He go, babe. I said, Pee, what's up, homie? He go, nigga, you know, you're on the wrong spot, homie. I said, man, shit. They sent me here last night. Go to the child hall. Get to the child hall, Adam. Now, mind you, remember I told you colors were so significant back then. Right. I got on some black pumas with the red, fluffy, big, thick, red shoe strings in them. Because <laughs> I had on red when I got arrested. I got on these pumas with these red shoe strings, bro. Oh, man, I hit this child hall. I see faces. I know. All of a sudden, you can, you can see my name coming out cast mouth. You can see the initials of my name. Like, you know, if somebody's saying my name and I'm seeing them, and then you see niggas throwing up the seat, I threw it to be on them. They look. So I walk through the child hall, and, man, I mean, like, bro, literally, like, you can hear a needle cast this stop, like, literally stop talking damn near, and everybody looking at me, like, this motherfucker see us? And I, I'm not realizing I'm in a child hall and it's like predominantly Crips from different modules. So you're like the only blood? I can't say I'm the only. <laughs> it probably was a few in there, sprinkle something down where they wasn't finna, finna just jump up and say shit. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. feel me? I'm with him. Because my, my big homie, Philip Thornton, was on one of the Crip modules. And uh -huh. he came after the fact going to child. And that's when I seen him, inspired him. But... um. I go through, get my food, go sit down at a, at a, at a um, neutral table with the brothers, and I'm sitting down, and I'm starting to eat, and niggas walking by, they start walking by me, they crip like cuz, flop ass nigga, whoop, bloop ass, whoop, whoop, I'm like crab ass, I'm dissing them back, so we going, you know, they whispering at me as they walking by, and I'm woofing back, I'm, fuck, I can't even eat, man, I dump my tray out, stand back up in line, wait to get ready to go to the, back to the module, get to the module, same program. Sales open, deputy come up, let me in. Lunchtime roll back around, Adam. Same, I do the same program. Come out the gate, shoot straight up to the front. They don't let me make it to lunch, though. It's yeah. a wrap. You ain't going to lunch, homie. You ain't even go to dinner. Now. You out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I get up to the gate. Now, remember in the beginning, I told you that there was an older brother from Compton said, he don't bang, he just from Compton, right. was in my cell with me. When I got up to the gate, he's standing in the gate with his hands in the bars, with his leg in the bar, looking outside the bar. So I'm like, right there where that glass is, I'm standing right there with my back turned toward the bars. And I look at him, I glance at him, he go, oh, you ain't got to worry about me, youngin. So I said, all right, OG. And I turned my back on his ass. But I still seen him in my perimeters from my side view. Hmm. But I, I wasn't worried, I, I kind of relaxed on his ass. When I should have stayed, he should have been the first motherfucker I attacked. Because all the time, he was the one sent me to him. Mm. My, that big motherfucker hit me with some fears in my temple, sent me right into the crowd. But before he hit me, Pee Wee trying to tell me just roll it up. He say, Steve, they just get on, man. I say, fuck that shit, bro. You know I can't roll it up. If I roll it up, homie, that's PC, man. That's totally off limits. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that a no-no. That's, mm. that that's without questioning. He said, bro, you niggas know what you got to do. He said, man, it's out my hand. He stepped back in the cell. You see them fools lifting each other up from the tier, boom. Coming up, and all primarily was my enemies. Lil Billy from Gray Street, Ike Battle, all these fools on site, and we see each other on the streets. All them getting pushed up. Prentice from PJ Watts, all these cats, my enemies. They getting lifted up to the tier. What's happening, cuz? What's happening? Calling me by my name. What's happening? What's happening, blood? And the motherfuckers rush me. And did you actually have a, a weapon at this point? Nah, I had that little two bus he gave me, but right. I didn't get a chance to finish it. Mm. They rushed me. I'm standing off at the gate. When they come in, he fire first. Before I can, the first opponent approaching me, that's where I can take off, he fire. Boom, catch me in my temple, Adam. Send me. Boom, when he fired, I turn right back around on his big old ass and hit him. Boom, boom. And he hit me again, and I fired. Bing, bing. And now I just fell in the crowd. I'm on him. Boom, 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 boom. And they on my ass. I, I get about a good minute, and I get hit again. Boom, bam. So next thing I know, I feel my legs go like this. 
They didn't grab my leg, made me do the split. What? So I said, oh, they're trying to drag me to the, down the tier. I said, oh, no, no, no. I grabbed the bars and clinched. Feel me? This is another, another, another method of defense, right? This is how you protect your body, your ribs and your face and your teeth from getting broke in because niggas kick, kick your face and kick your teeth out. So I clinched on them. First thing I did, I was clinched. Grabbed the bars, I clinched. I let them go ahead and go in on me for a few seconds, for a few, by almost a minute. They getting it in. Boom, boom, boom. Then I cuffed. I say, deputy, deputy, blood down, blood down, deputy, blood down. Police start, actually ran upstairs. I done took a two and a half, damn it, three minute ass whipping by then. Mm-hmm. Feel me? They finally went up. Hey, 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 hey. Crips start running, dispersing. Now I'm kind of getting some light. It's one little motherfucker left on me, Adam, and he kicking the shit out of me. And I look up, he about this damn tall. It's Lil Killer from Hoover. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, Lil Killer. This, he was in there for killing, for murder. <laughs> Lil Killer from Hoover, man. I'll never forget him, man. Kicking the shit out of me. I looked up, I heard up, jumped up, well on his little ass, up on his little ass to the point where I grabbed him. I'm finna toss his little ass straight up over that tear, and the deputies come in on us. Boom, 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 grab us, slam us, get me, handcuff me, throw me on the bar. Who are you waiting from? I said, man, I'm from Nick's, I'm from Bonnie Hunter. Man, he go, what? You a blood? You get your ass out of here. You only supposed to be over here. I said, well, man, where I supposed to be, man? They, they put me over here. He said, how old are you? I said, man, they, they transferred me from El, Los Padrinas, to Juvenile Hall. And so they sent me to the barbershop to figure out where they was going to house me. I got a big-ass doohickey on my head, man. <laughs> like a unicorn, bro. So even at that time, the cops knew that this was not okay to have you oh, in this uh, environment. Oh, the police said, but when he said out, he heard I was from Bonnie Hunter, he said, oh, yeah, you Bonnie Hunters can fight. He said, boy, because they been beating the shit out of Crip Bloods over here, man. We just took a blood up out of here to the hospital, bro, and, and he barely made it. Wow. I said, well, yeah, man, I ain't with shit. Fuck all that, man. Y'all put me over here, though. It seemed like it was a setup, man. Mm. But that was my first one. My Actually, my worstest one was that one. And then Wayside, they blanket party me. Now, to give you the the, the uh, example of the blanket party. And the other one's a rat pack because you're just sort of at the end of a hallway and they're all just coming towards you? Or No, when you have a name. See, one thing about Los Angeles as, as, and our gang culture, when you build a name and you really got a name in these streets, bro, your name really rises and rotates in these streets. Mm-hmm. So when people see you, it's just like a celebrity. Motherfucker know who you is off top. Oh, that's Bonnie Hunter such a, oh, that's such a, oh, that's who, 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 or that's Crip such such. They know that person. So when the enemy see that, and if I see you, and I know if, I, if we down this food, that's points. Mm. We own you. That's why I was so on site, because everybody knew through the protocol that if you catch an enemy, especially with a name, oh, that's points. Mm. Oh, such such knocked down such such. Oh, such such and them beat up such such and them. That's points. You feel me? So to, to get me is points. And it's not like an actual point system, but it's just the understanding of your rank as a crib is going to go up if you right. get your hands and on this guy. Right, there you go yeah. right there. Yeah. You feel oh. me? There you go right there. And that's what it was. So, wow. you know, and, and same for me. When I seen them, shit, we stomping them out. Right. Immediately. Get him. We own him. 